Here at the Health Expo, blood pressure screening, flu shots are part of the community services that are offered today. I'm here with Marie Kay. Marie, what are you doing? I am here screening for blood pressure. And you are a? I'm a student here at West Valley. We are student volunteering. I'm here with Lieutenant Valenzuela of the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department. <laughs> Lieutenant Valenzuela, can you tell us why you're here today? The Sheriff's Department is out here representing, well I'm here representing the Sheriff's Department, trying to spread a little bit of uh, information out to the community regarding Neighborhood Watch, um, credit card fraud, personal security, and just uh, share some information with everybody in the community. We're a nonprofit organization in Palo Alto, mm -hmm. and uh, the company name that I work for is All Care Plus. Um, my husband started the company in 2002. And how is that involved with the expo? Um, we have uh, trained, we've been training CPR and first aid, and we have a table right over here by the window. And um, we've been doing it for about 12 years now, running as a nonprofit. Vito is with the El Camino Hospital, and Lisa is the, with the board of the Saratoga Senior Center. Together, both of the organizations are sponsoring this expo. How did this affiliation come about? El Camino is really interested in reaching out to the community and seniors and wellness programs and we met up with Lisa and one of her physicians participated in the men's health fair and so he approached El Camino Hospital about collaborating, partnering with the Saratoga Senior Center. Is this a first time effort? This is the first time ever for us, yes. Wonderful. Susan, how did this affect uh, the organization that you're with? I'm Lisa, but that's okay. I'm sorry, that's Lisa. all right. Um, you know, it's it's been a huge. Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, in the previous years, our senior center health fair has been located over at the senior center, and it's been a lot smaller with less um, availability to the community. And El Camino Hospital has brought the physicians, which um, has been amazing. They get to come, people can come talk and ask physicians questions to be that close and be able to communicate with them so easily has been wonderful and the physicians have been so happy to be here and in addition we have a health technology area which is all the high-tech medical technology that is the latest innovative technology that uh, El Camino Hospital has also provided us with as well as all kinds of screenings so we have our usual flu shot we have um, awesome exhibitor resources as well as skin screenings and uh, osteoporosis um, are present as well. You know what's so great is unusual about this partnership is it's a senior center and it's all the services that a hospital provides for seniors. So you have physicians and physician experts that are available that have volunteered three hours of their time to come and speak to people you know about their specialty. I'm here with Dr. Caroline Strass who is with the uh, Senior Health Center at El Camino Hospital. Dr. Strauss, tell me about the program that you have at the hospital. Well, we are a special program taking care of seniors, doing taking care of all of their primary care needs. We have a patient-centered medical home, which includes a multidisciplinary approach to taking care of seniors. It includes, of course, primary care physicians, as well as nutritionists, pharmacists, uh, social workers, so the patients can get everything that they need in one localized place. So it's a one-stop shop for seniors. It's a one-stop shop for seniors, yes. That's wonderful. I've, I've been a volunteer for um, El Camino Hospital for a good number of years and uh, work in the library um, uh, at El Camino uh, at uh, Las, Las Gatas. How wonderful. Is the library open to the public in the general? The library is open to the public and we have some wonderful sources and come in. people can come in there anytime and take a look at uh, what resources we have. We even look up articles for them or do some research for them. It's a, it's a wonderful resource for the community. I'm here with Chef Jacques Wilson, the executive chef at El Camino Hospital. And he's preparing what looks like a very healthy meal. Today I'm preparing a bulgur wheat and kale salad. Um, and what makes it healthy because we want more greens into our body and system and also more vegetables. And by today with a simple recipe of adding kale, tomatoes, um, Parmesan cheese, and zucchini and summer squash. And that's what our recipe is. And we have different flavored oils we're going to toss in there for more flavor. And, and just top it off with a little bit of fresh ground pepper. 
So are you telling me that patients at El Camino eat well all of the time? If you're on a regular diet, you eat well all the time. Yeah. I'd love to have this and try it out. Yeah, well, thank great. you. Thank you for stopping by. And we also have some other programs around women's health if, if you'd like any more information on that. I'm here with Ashish, who is representing the South Asian Heart Center at El Camino Hospital. Ashish, can you tell me about the center? Yes, the South Asian Heart Center is a prevention center focused on heart disease and diabetes in South Asians. People from India, Pakistan and the Indian subcontinent are at four times the risk for heart disease and diabetes compared to the general population. So we have created a prevention program to catch them early, educate them on their genetic and their lifestyle disorders, and help them through lifestyle changes to reduce the risk and mitigate a heart attack or diabetes onset. Is El Camino one of the very few resources for this kind of uh, health awareness program? Yes, El Camino Hospital is very unique in this respect. We started in 2006 and we have focused and screened 4,500 individuals in the Bay Area. This is Dr. Edward Cartman, who is the co-medical director at El Camino Community Hospital. Dr. Cartman, I understand you were responsible for developing the men's health program at El Camino? Yeah, we wanted to set up a program that was specifically designed for men. We, we saw that in just about every hospital around the country, we have pediatric service lines, we have women's health service lines. At El Camino, we even had a South Asian heart center, but we didn't have anything specifically designed for men. And men do make up 50% of the population, we can't forget, um, and they have unique needs. The concept of providing a, a specialized program for men's needs has caught on. That We have hospitals from all over the country physicians from all over the country coming to talk to us. In fact, uh, the University of Washington uh, came down uh, about a year ago with their uh, department chairman and a group of uh, uh, financial people and they were so excited they went back and took our model to the University of Washington and started a similar men's health program this summer. We have interest from so many universities and private hospitals from all over the country, so yes, we can say it's grown tremendously. Um, I'm Dr. David King. I'm a urologist and practice in Los Gatos. Um, I'm the co-medical director of urology services at El Camino Hospital Los Gatos. Um, in this area we have a lot of urology services being highlighted. Um, El Camino Hospital Los Gatos is really a center of excellence for urologic care. Um, the uh, hospital has a staff of over 25 urologists who go there on a regular basis and if you need any urology services as a patient such as kidney stones, prostate work, incontinence, um, uh, kidney cancer, that's the place to go. That's wonderful. So you have a very comprehensive department in men's as well as women's health. Yes, definitely. In the um, whole South Bay area, that's the only hospital that has an on-site uh, lithotripter, which is a machine that breaks up kidney stones, along with the laser tool that uh, is used to treat benign prostatic hypertrophy, um, and also um, for prostate cancer work, such as uh, brachytherapy, which is radioactive seed implant. Well, it sounds like you've really state of the art at El Camino Hospital. Thank you, Dr. King. I'm here with Pat and Cindy from El Camino Hospital. Pat, how are you involved with El Camino? I'm uh, the administrator for El Camino Hospital Las Gatos and the vice president at El Camino Hospital. And Cindy? I oversee uh, perioperative services at Las Gatos Hospital. And this section is responsible now doing screenings for what? This section to our, my left is over men's health. Um, uh, we have three physicians here, one of which is uh, specializing in stone surgeries. So kidney stones, bladder stones, ureteral stones. Another area is on prostate surgery and the new technique of green light laser. And the third area, doctors here representing um, robotic surgery for men's health. My gosh, so we have comprehensive coverage of just about everything, men's health, women's health, seniors. Absolutely. And down in this area, we cover sleep studies, uh, general medicine, orthopedic, neurology, um, behavioral health. So it's fully encompassed. And both campuses are represented, both Mountain View and Los Gatos, with our physicians. This is Dr. Gregory Belcher, an orthopedic uh, surgeon. That's right. Who is on the board of the Saratoga C 
senior center as well as on staff at El Camino Hospital. Am I correct? That's correct. Since 1999, I've been a part of it since then. Well, thank you for being a wonderful, valuable member of the board there. Uh, our senior center, I believe, is growing in, in size? Yes, uh, absolutely right. I've seen it grow um, and develop over the years. And um, now uh, the senior center, with its uh, new uh, alliance with uh, El Camino Hospital uh, and you know just from the health fair we can see uh, how valuable that alliance is. I mean we've since 1999 I've been involved with so many of these health fairs which we do annually and uh, you know this is the biggest one that we've uh, we've had. It's um, really quite impressive. I'm here with Susan Huff, the Executive Director of the Saratoga Senior Center. Hi, Susan. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm very happy to be here. This is an expanded version of the Health Expo that uh, usually takes place at the Saratoga Senior Center. It is, and we are thrilled at this venue. We're thrilled. Uh, it's, it's fabulous. It allowed us to have more vendors. It allowed us to have more space for our vendors. Lots more the, for the public to see. Um, our, our teaming with El Camino Hospital has been absolutely amazing this year. It opens up the whole world of technology, what's um, current, up to date in, in medicine. We have wonderful physicians who volunteered their time. I don't know why I'm looking that way. Um, it's, it's fabulous. We're, we're really, really excited. We're really, really excited. Well, judging from the turnout, this is a very, very successful event. Do you hope to have it again next year? We sure do. We hope that this is the first of many. For Manny Capello and his parents who have come to the Senior Expo today. Manny, tell us. Tell us about this event. Well, I'm just really proud. I've been working with the Senior Center here in Saratoga for over a year now. And I'm really proud of the fact that they have changed their whole philosophy in terms of senior services here in Saratoga. Every decision that they make is geared towards uh, what's in the best interest of our seniors. And as such, this, uh, this you know, event today, as far as the Health and Expo, is, uh, is just a reflection of that. Um, seniors are living a lot differently today than they did 20, 30 years ago. They're very active, like my parents here. You know, my parents are traveling to Europe on a regular basis. They're uh, active. My mom dances uh, at the Senior Center a couple of times a, a week. And it's a reflection of the fact that our seniors are uh, changing mm -hmm. in a better way, right? They're healthier, they're happier, and as such, our Senior Center is focused uh, on providing you know, services that are beneficial and relevant to them. And so from that standpoint, I'm, I'm just really proud.